Matthew Reinhardt. <coughs> and uh, yeah, welcome. It's another cool craft that I thought we could do together. It's a blooming flower pot. Oh my God, I love this pop. I think you will really enjoy uh, making this flower pot design that we came up with. Uh, it's so much fun. So you're gonna download the template. There's a link down below. You click on the link, download it. You can print it out onto any color cardstock. Now we chose three different colors, but you could use one color. You can use, you know, two colors. It doesn't matter, but it's up to you. So download the templates. And um, once you're finished downloading them onto cardstock, and I would suggest using a heavier cardstock, not using like construction paper or something, um, we're gonna score all the dotted black lines. Now everybody knows, do you, do you know what we do with those dotted black lines? That's, we score it, Mr. Reinhardt. Yes, that's right, kids. Um, so we use a, um, a, a big old paper clip you can also use a, uh, a like a knitting needle if you wanted to, but what we're doing is we're just pressing the edge of that um, that big old paper clip because that's the easiest thing to get right with like a ruler as a straight edge, and we're just rubbing it, kind of pressing down into the paper a little. Not so hard that you rip the paper. You want to just press it a little so that you get that indentation, and that'll make it much easier for us to be able to fold these different lines because that's what dotted lines mean. They always mean in our templates, almost always, they mean that's where a fold is. And that's what we do when we score things. All right, and we're gonna do all these other little pieces too. We're gonna score them as well. Now, after we're finished scoring all the pieces, then we start cutting out the pieces. And how do we know where to cut? Well, we follow the black solid lines and we have lots of pieces to cut out in this one. So just take your time, find a pair of scissors. I can't even talk. Find a pair of scissors that you really, that you're really comfortable with. And you'll notice too that uh, my helper here, this is Kirsten and she is very good. She has much nicer hands than I do. Um, anyways, she moves the paper um, with her scissors. So that way it's a little bit easier for her to get around some of those corners. So take your time getting into, you know, there's, there's a lot of these little slots. And so that way you don't cut up all of these pieces um, in the wrong way. So we have lots of these petals for our, our um, pop-up flower pot. So you're gonna have to cut out a lot of them. So here is one. And then we're gonna cut up many more. All right, let's look at all of our pieces here. These are gonna be our pieces for the for the the main structures for the for the pot okay so let's fold these tabs we're just now they've all been scored so they're going to be really easy to fold so we're just going to fold them around and make sure all these things can fold back and forth all right so once we've pre-folded everything and it doesn't matter which way it's going to go we're going to show you when we assemble it how it goes together all right first let's start with our flower pot and see these two pieces they they look exactly the same right so what we're going to do is we're going to double up our cardstock this this is so that you know so that the 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 base of our flower pot is really strong and heavy so we're just going to add glue to one and we're going to glue a second one on top of it And that's gonna make our that's gonna make our our cardstock double strong, and it'll be really good for uh, making it a flower pot. Look at that! We're just gonna dry it in place. We're gonna make sure that our our this is the outside of a the flower pot. Isn't that weird? How when you make something like that, that has to be curved like that. All right, now this piece here that's gonna be the interior, one of the interior. Um, structure pieces of the uh, flower pot. And so we're gonna match up. This is an, another doubled over piece of cardstock. See how it fits into that shape. And we're gonna put some glue. You're gonna see, we're just painting in the glue in that spot. And we're just gonna put it right there. And what, what we're gonna actually have inside of our flower pot is a structure that is, is sort of, it's, it's there's sort of interlocking cross of um, paper. So there's a slot at the top 
of one of those structural pieces, those central pieces, and then there's a slot at the bottom of the other one. And so what they do is they lock into each other and they cross over. And we're gonna see that in a minute. Now see this piece here, this big old piece? This is gonna go right there. It's gonna glue in place. And we're gonna fill in this shape, this large shape. This is gonna be the uh, part of our flower pop mechanism that is going to actually have like this sort of a page. It's almost like a the book, um, uh, the pages of a book, but it's gonna it's gonna be it's shaped differently and it opens a little bit differently, so that uh, we can hide our pop up inside our beautiful flower. And we're just doubling this over again for strength. Paper is pretty strong, but this when we double it up, it gets way stronger. All right, so. Now let's decorate this central piece. And you're gonna see, like we can make, we just really need to make it with leaves. You can use markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you like. We're just gonna make this look kind of like a plant. So we'll put some leaves up there, you know, maybe some stems. We can make designs. We can do whatever we want to do in this area. It's our flower. And you can decorate it after you've built it as well. We just sometimes like to show so, uh, how we exactly do it because we don't we don't want to we don't want to fake you out we want you to know exactly how we build things look at how beautiful this pot is going to be oh my gosh now you could have a different kind of pot you could have you know um uh oh and these are the flower pieces okay so these are going to be flowers look in the center we are going to sort of make the, the the center of the flower right there so you can see it's a little bit different color, a little, a little brown. So, you know, kind of like a, a, a daisy or whatever, you know, the central part where the pollen is. We made that and we marked that up. Okay, so. All right, now that we're finished decorating all our little flower petal bits and um, our pot and the interior plant parts, let's start folding in half all of our petals because this part is gonna be kind of tricky. So each one of these petal pieces um, had a die line fold in the center. So we're just gonna fold them all in half, just like this. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna fold all of them in half. So we're all folded in half, just like that. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start gluing, get that glue out. Okay, here's our first one. We're gonna start, and see how they're facing opposite ways, each folded petal piece? We're gonna use some glue, get that glue, and that's regular craft glue. Yeah, we're gonna make two dots. Look at that, two little dots of glue, and then we're gonna fold it over and onto this the other petal onto itself. Look at that. Now, we're gonna make a little dot down at the point. All right, so that's how we are going to attach them. So, one, two, attach the central petal with two dots. Then we're gonna put one glue point down and another glue point down at the, 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 the junction between the two. And we're gonna do this over and over again. So we're gonna attach two and two and two, just like we did. So there's one down at the point, glue it over, two between each single petal, central petal. All right, so did we see, did you see how that, uh, that process goes? And we kind of, we're doing this over and over again with all these different petals. Each set, so one, two, glue it to itself on the center, and then one at the bottom where the petals meet and glue it onto itself. So we've actually glued all those two pieces together. And look at how she's pressing down. Like, look at how, you gotta press down and make sure that that glue spot sticks those little pieces of paper. You don't want a huge glue spot. It's gotta be small, you know, small like that. So that, uh, but you want, you do wanna make sure it's, a, you know, a significant little spot so that these pieces glue together properly. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna allow us to have sort of a cool, fanning out of all these different petal pieces. All right, so we're gonna glue it all into place. And then what we're gonna do, these each of these pair of petal pieces, we're gonna glue together, all right? So let's glue them together like this. Okay, so first one, we're gonna glue three, let's watch all these places. One line down here, one little point here, and one little point here. 
We're gonna glue this to it right on top and you're gonna see the shapes match each other. So we're gonna press it down and we're gonna get ready. Okay, one, two, three, just like that. And glue it together. And then we need to have these varying things glued together um, so that it works properly. So line and then two dots at the top. So it's a process, right? One, two, three. And then we glue this one on top. And then this one. One, two, three. So you get a line at the bottom, and the line at the bottom keeps the whole set, the whole pile of um, pieces together. There's one at the bottom. And all that, and all that. It's tedious though, isn't it? It's like, oh, over and over again. But, it's, but it, when you see how it turns out, it's gonna be really cool. All right, so we've got these, we're gluing it. We're gonna do this for all of these pieces that, and remember, we, these are doubled up pieces. And we did this so that you only had to do one different, you know, one type of glue pattern. Because there's a lot of different patterns in getting this just right. So we could do line, dot, and dot. I'm gonna place this piece on top. I love flowers, they're so pretty. They really are, it makes me so happy to see them. Okay, and then we're gonna take, see this is a little clip. I'm gonna use, we're gonna use this clip to just sort of clamp it shut so that, and you can use, you know, you could use a big paper clip if you wanted to. You could, you could put the petals under a book if you wanted. Okay, so let's get to this pot. And this big pot piece, we're gonna take, this is like a big, you know, big marker, you know, keep the, the lid on the marker and we're gonna, we're gonna roll it. We're gonna curve this paper. See how I've got my thumb and you're sort of curving it with the, uh, the pen to make sure that paper curves a little bit better. And then the edges, we're definitely gonna wrap around. Get a thick marker, you know, like a big Crayola marker or, um, or something like that. That's what we're gonna use to curve it. Sometimes you can do that with like ribbon. You can use like, like a pencil. Um, but we're gonna, we, we, need, we need something a little thicker. Okay, so see that tab right there? That's gonna glue on that other edge. So let's put a little glue right there on that sort of angled edge, just like that, in that space. So we got a little bit of glue. And now that we have our nice curved outer surface of our pot, there it goes, just right there. See, it's gonna, it's gonna fit exactly into place. Look at that. You're gonna press it down and you might have to hold this for a couple seconds or you could get like a clip and hold it in place. If you really wanted to, you could put some tape in there um, to hold it in place, but I would just just hold it and pinch it and um, press it down on, the, on your surface, your work surface. There is our flower pot, the outer, the outer uh, surface of our flower pot. It's really pretty. It's really cool. And it's nice and sturdy too, because it's doubled up. All right. Next up, this is going to be the interior. And that's the bottom of our pot. So these two tabs are going to glue down just like that on alternate sides. So we're going to put a little glue on this round circular bottom of our pot and we're going to do it on the opposite wedge see both of those uh, tabs are kind of wedge shaped just stick them right just right there yeah get it right no right no just about yeah now you got it okay look at that look at that nice stuff all right let's get to the next piece which is going to glue in place. This is the cross piece. This is going to be where we build our, we, we add in our tabs. We're going to put them on the bottom. You're going to see they fit. Look at this. Look at that. See the blue exposed areas? That's where those tabs are going to go. Let's put some glue on it. Yeah, that's right. See, we were thinking when we made this so it would be a little easier for you to see. Mmm, how about that? Yeah, we're really, we're, we really are constantly figuring out like some new ideas to share with you. I get really excited about actually making different um, crafts like this. Um, 
because they're just fun. You know, they're, they're, it's like a, di a different way of making something that pops up um, in a different manner and a different way to display it. I just love this kind of stuff. I love um, looking at uh, paper craft in a different way, making it interactive. All right, so let's put these tabs just in place for this cross piece. And this, this is actually gonna go inside our, our um, the outer surface of our um, plant pot and it's gonna strengthen it um, on the inside. This also, it's gonna allow us to display our, our pop-up flower. Um, we can display it open or we can display it co closed. You can be a surprise, you can give it to somebody. You could turn it into a, like a card or it could just be the present itself. You could even put stuff, hmm, you could even put stuff inside the, the flower pot, like jelly beans or something. Oh, that would be kind of cool. I would love a flower pot filled with jelly beans. All right, let's get to gluing these tabs. See these tabs here that fold in? There's four of them. Those are gonna go on the inside of our flower pot. And they're gonna glue to the side. So let's just put glue on every one of them, just like this. Every one of those tabs needs some glue. Stick that tab in place. There we go. You forgot the last one. There it is. Okay. So let's just, all we got to do is drop this on the inside. Look at this. It's right inside. And those tabs are going to abut the, <laughs> I said butt. Um, they're going to, to touch and abut the um, inside of the, I can't stop saying butt, um, the inside of flower pot. Look at that. And it plugs it up. Just like that. Look at that. And it's going to be nice and strong, too. All right. Now we got to add the piece de resistance. The, the, what does that mean? This is our flower. And look at how this fans out. Look how beautiful this is. Now, we did some crafts earlier. We haven't done anything like this. Oh, my God. That is so beautiful. Okay. So we're going to add it to the inside. Now, we're going to glue it. There should be a little tracing line where it's supposed to fit. See how it's going to fit? It's going to fit on the inside of this. And we're going to have to glue it on both sides of our petal sort of um, piece. So there's a, there, there is a gray um, line on the templates, that sort of shape, that we need to follow to glue our petal um, construction into our plant piece and plant pot piece so see it's gonna go just right there just in place beautiful and because it's a little thicker than usual that's why we have to have double folds right there so that it can hold our, our little pop-up plant um, page can hold it into place all right, so it's gonna go right there. Now, and that's gonna hold it into place. But wait a minute, we're not done. We only glued it to one side. So we gotta glue it to the other side. So let's put some glue on this side and it's gonna glue down on the bottom. All right, so that's, and that's gonna be it. And then we're gonna have a blooming flower. Oh my God, now this is a longer craft. This is something that, you know, is gonna take you some time. So, you know, carve out the time. Don't. Don't worry if you got to come back to it. If you're not finished, you come back to it. You watch the video. We're here together. We'll figure this out, right? It's really cool, though, when you get it done right. All right, so we glued it, and we're going to pinch it shut. We're going to let that those petals glue on both sides of that leaf piece. And then let's, okay, we let it dry for a few minutes. Let's open it up. Let's see how it works. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Look at that, look at that. That is, uh, I can't even, oh, I get so excited about these. Isn't that beautiful? It's our very own pop-up flower fanning out. It's gorgeous and you all made it. You made it happen. You're gonna make this so cool. I can't wait to see the different flowers that everyone else makes. Um, you know, if you have other ideas, for what we can put in there. Let's look at that, it's so beautiful on the window. So look at the different colors. Oh, I love this. Hey everyone, it's Matthew Reinhardt. Thank you so much for joining me make these 
beautiful blooming flower pots. And um, hey, be sure to hit that like button down below if you like it. And uh, you know, if you, you enjoy this, please hit subscribe so that I know that I'm supposed to make more of these. And um, it's just so much fun sharing with you. And I'm excited to see what you make. So be sure and post pictures. And if you have ideas about future crafts, let me know because you know, uh, I'm just here in my studio and I gotta know what's going on. So if you have ideas, I would love to make them. If they're, if they're, if they're good and we can do them, um, I'm, I'm totally open to it. So take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.